Okay, so now here's a really cool urban garden trend. This is a covered trash can, but I'm going to use it for planting one of the coolest trends ever. Put the pedal to the metal using galvanized containers as planters. Now this is very inexpensive, under $20 for a good sized planter that's gonna weather well, but you have to add drainage holes. And what I have found works best is if you actually take a hammer and you pound um, a nail, so that you're just starting a hole and then you use the drill and drill these larger holes. So once I have that done, you can recycle these plastic nursery pots and use these in the bottom of your container gardens. And that fills up room and keeps them lightweight. And sometimes I also use uh, water bottles. Now I like to look for a potting soil that already has fertilizer in it. That way I know that um, uh, the plants can have nutrition. But if you're using a generic potting soil, like I'm going to do here, you can just add the fertilizer once you get the potting soil in place. So let's go ahead and add the soil and get planting. Now when it comes to choosing plants for these heavy metal garden design I'm gonna do, I wanna go bold and go with bold foliage. Now this is a canna, canna tropicana. This is a beautiful yellow striped one, the gold one, but Canna Tropicana also comes in one that is black. It's actually kind of burgundy color. And I choose one of these as the main plant or the thriller plant. So an easy way to get these out of their pot is to just bang them on the side and they slip out. Now here's where I put my gloves on. I want to loosen up the soil so that the roots are loosened from that shape of the pot they were in. This is gonna help the plant spread its roots out. This is gonna be the front of the pot. I'm gonna put this canna towards the back, and then I'm gonna go with a great filler plant, and this is a cordyline festival grass. And I'm gonna put that off to the side so it doesn't hide the next plant that I put in, which is a euphorbia. And I love this glacier blue euphorbia because it's silvery, picks up the silvery color of this metal container. At this point, I'm going to add some vegetables. So I took these uh, cabbage plants, and you see how dense the roots are? You really got to butterfly them. That means pull them out like this. I am going to make sure that these get plenty of the osmocote fertilizer, and then this big, bold purple foliage is gonna add some highlights and echo the color of the purple that's in the festival grass. And then the little silvery sheen will highlight the euphorbia. It's gonna be a great explosion of color with very little maintenance because bold foliage makes for a great contemporary garden design. But before I go too much farther, I'll measure out the fertilizer. Now, I love that the Osmocote, it comes with a cap that perfectly measures the amount that is good for one pot. So I sprinkle this around all the plants. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add more soil on top. Once I've got the soil all settled around, if the container's not too heavy, I like to pick it up, a couple of drops, and it helps settle that soil down. And this pot, planted in a metal container, is ready to go with the other plants that are bold foliage plants that I've also put the petal to the metal. So let's see how it looks. Okay, all you trendy gardeners, here is the galvanized metal look. It is very hip, upscale, and urban. You can see in the back, we've got festival cordyline grass growing in a uh, window box type garden. Then we have our shiny galvanized uh, container that we planted on camera. Right next to it is wine corks that I used for a mulch and there's artemisia. And then I match that with another plant with silvery foliage that spills over the edge, and that is called dichondra, silver falls. And then on the ground, we've got another old bucket. The cordyline festival grass is the pink, spiky, grass-like material. And then the big, bold leaves of the canna tropicana. And then there's lime green sweet potato vine. And then finally, we have a tall, narrow French cut flower container. And this one is tall, so I put a tall morning light miscanthus grass in the back to give it that height. And then added a touch of purple with the purple sweet potato vine, more of the purple cabbage, 
and then just a little bit of white, white cosmos, because they also will grow tall. So there you've got galvanized metal containers, one of the hottest trends for your patio pots.